Atreus. Hence my bellowing. He never came back from burying the wolf. It's been some time. He cannot be far. Baldur's chasm is too unstable, brother. The lad wouldn't try it. This has not been opened. No prints this way either. Let's see. Tracks heading down to the frozen river. That's most likely where he did the burying. He crawled through here. You seem troubled in your sleep, even for you. Nightmares? I dream of the past, almost every night. Ah, the bad old days in Greece? No, it feels like Faye is trying to tell me something. You don't mean to say you're talking to ghosts again, brother? No, but it is something more than memory. Use your words, brother. The tracks stop here. And we're not alone. Check on the protection, Steve. There's a tree up ahead, yeah? Well? You were right. The stave is broken. Explains our trespassers. What happened here? A bear. Mauled. By what? A larger bear. Wounded. The fight destroyed the tree. We must find Atreus. Aye. Between the savage beasts and marauding raiders, he may have sought shelter. Follow the trail. We'll find him. <laughs> ah, we need a way around. Any idea what could have made the lad wander off? We argued. He accuses me of... ...hiding from Odin. Eh, only sensible to keep a low profile after killing three of his kin. A reckoning will come. That is why Atreus must learn to survive on his own. Oh, this is about that prophecy. Just because the giants had you dead on some wall full of... ...otherwise accurate predictions... I do not believe in prophecies. Well, good. Do you believe in prophecy? I'm skeptical by nature. Though we have seen things that defy explanation. So, speaking as the smartest man alive, I have no bloody idea. Ah! 
that trail gone. I know what you're thinking, brother. But Atreus can handle himself. You've taught him well. So he keeps telling me. into that cave. Well, we know where we are going. I'm sure we can find a quiet way in. <laughs> or you could do that. <laughs> are these the raiders you rescued the wolves from? No. They have not been here long. goes through here, leads deeper in. There will be more. <laughs> well, someone got in the bear's way. <laughs> Got a sling. Look out, brother. 
Atreus, are you here? Huh. Well, that's for the best. Let's find a way out. <clears throat> Perhaps Atreus came here seeking shelter. Kept moving when he saw the raiders, and the bear came barreling after. Impressive rampage, I'll <clears throat> give it that. You think the bear was chasing Atreus? Well, just as likely the bear was hurt and Atreus was chasing it to help. You know the lad. Atreus, where are you? Well, we found the bear. Oh, he found us. Oh! <laughs> 
Atreus! 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 Atreus. Uh, what? First, focus. Heal. What happened? I prayed Fenrir, and then I'm, I'm not sure. I was so sad, and then I was angry and scared. I remember running. There was a bear. Charging and I charged back. That had to be a dream. Your emotions, they transformed you. Uh, I, I, I didn't know I could do that. You've already taught me discipline. I need more than that. I need answers. Answers you don't have. Answers only your mother had. That's how she withheld. What if there was someone who could help us? Someone that could give us answers about the giants and who Loki's supposed to be? Atreus. Wouldn't it help to understand what I'm becoming? Atreus! Listen to me. have killed you until you learn control we will take no unnecessary risks inaction is also a risk you taught me that stop thinking like a father for a moment and start thinking like a general no
this way. So, are we going to discuss the boy becoming a bear? Yeah, are we? Not now. We need to repair the protection stave and get home. What happened to the protection stave? You did. So you're blaming me? I am not blaming you, Atreus. Well, tell your voice that. Say the word, Father. Besides your gift of language and hearing creatures' thoughts, are there any other new magical abilities to report? Not really. What of Fenrir? What about him? When he died, you cast a spell. No, I didn't. But I saw light. I don't know what you're talking about. <clears throat> like a fimble winter, perhaps. Seen my share. where we are now. What's with all the blood? Yours, Atreus. Seriously? That, or any prey you might have been dragging, I suppose. Not sure that makes me feel any better. Consequences. What? What can we do? Nothing. Nature will take its course. Isn't it cold enough? We are almost home. those guys it's been like this all night it must have been inside the stave when I fixed it <laughs> 
Hey, Spana, you're not scared. You're a brave girl. Good. Brave girl. That's right. He's good with them. No surprise, really. Specky, you okay? Just a little thunder. That's a good girl. Good girl. Atreus! I'm just checking on... To bed! Yes, sir. As evenings go, that was entirely too eventful. Though I admit it was a bit like old times there, for a moment. The three of us navigating some hitherto unhappened upon patch of forest. Been a while since you've joined us. If that's what you mean. Ah, well, just tired, I suppose. You've seen one deer hunt, you've seen them all. How can you feel tired when you never sleep? There are other kinds of tired, lad. You'll see when you're older. Now have a proper rest, my brothers. Things are always brighter in the morning. What was that? The bomb! 